What's happening? This is the Tap In Podcast. We are live inside the Tap In studio. Man, I got a special guest in the building, Miss G Street T. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Feeling great. Always. Yeah, appreciate you for tapping in with us, man. Appreciate you for having me coming. Yeah, man. Man, I want to get into... I know you You from Fort Worth, right? Yeah. Okay, what part of Fort Worth you from? Westside, come on. Come on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that is that considered like like the hood or what is that considered like That's suburbs? The hood. Is it? That's the hood. Okay, okay. <laughs> is that like? Because I know um, only part of Fort Worth that I really know about is like Stop Six. Mm-hmm. Um, is that a part of like Como or? No, nah, you know? that's the East Side. Okay, okay. So the, it's the East Side and Como is West Side. West Side. Yeah. Okay. How was it growing up in Fort Worth? Like. Do you have any siblings or are you the... Yes, I got a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How many siblings you got? I got um, three siblings with my mom that I'm in, that I'm with. And then uh, my daddy, I really can't just give you a, a number. Okay. <laughs> you get okay. what I'm saying? <laughs> daddy was out there, huh? Yeah, daddy okay. was out there. <laughs> okay. So um, are you the youngest the one with your, uh, are you the middle or oldest with the ones with your, uh, with your mom? I'm the oldest with my mom and I'm middle with my daddy. Okay. Okay. How so? How was it growing up in, in Fort Worth? I mean, I had a I had a fun childhood, but I mean, it still it still was rough a little bit. I mean, we all have our struggles and stuff, but I grew up. My daddy was in jail really most of my life, so I grew up with, in a single mom household with just me and my brothers. So I mean, y'all know how that goes, like. <laughs> Just getting it day by day, really. Mm, okay. Did you grow up? Were you fighting a lot? Were you like one of them ones that be fighting in the street and all that kind of? Nah, really. When I was young, I got along with everybody. Like now is when everybody be trying to come for me. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> mm, why? Why you think that is? I mean, old friends just and then rapping. I think me rapping it be making a lot of people a little jealous. I don't really know. Really? Yeah. What, is, what? I mean, about what? I don't understand. Like, what are they jealous about? I mean, every. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm coming up with the rap. Basically, it's not really. They can see that I'm really doing something with it. it ain't really nothing. I'm not playing with it. Like, I'm really doing something. Mm. So really. Okay, and people are just jealous of that. Yeah. They you, they know they can do it too, right? They, they try. <laughs> they right? want to, I guess. Okay. Hey. All right, and so I know I listened to a couple of your songs, and I don't know who you talking to, but you be going off on these. You be, you be going off on these bitches. Is there somebody that you talking to, or is it just like in general? It's really people I'm talking to in general. Old stuff that happened in the past, stuff that didn't happen now. Sometimes I can really just I record myself. So when mm. I'm sitting up in the booth. Up in there, I'm really just, sometimes I could be thinking of something. Sometimes I might just say something that just come off my mind. Because sometimes I really don't write. I learn how to uh, punchline my stuff in now. So Okay. How did you learn how to record yourself? My boyfriend's. <laughs> really? Yeah. What you mean? Like, explain that. Uh, he showed me how to, you know, work the stuff on the laptop and showed me what buttons to push and what I really need to know that's basic just so I can record my music myself. And he just mix it for me. Mm. That's all I do. Okay. Is he a rapper too? Yeah. Okay. What's his name? Give him a shout out. Ken from the Glen. <laughs> okay. Ken from the Glen. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And how long you been doing that? How long you been actually uh, like recording yourself and really getting out there? I'm going to say um, I've been recording myself for a good like six months, but I've been rapping for two years now. Okay. Dang. Okay. Do you... um? Like with, because I always think about this, right? I heard this quote, um, I think, I forget what other podcast, I think it was like Rap Radar or something, and they were saying that even though you may be like a beginning rapper, right, you are competing with the people who are like the Cardi B's, the Nicki yeah. Minaj's, like your music have to be. Do you ever think about that when you're going in, in to record a song or you just really just going in there and pouring out whatever's on your heart? I mean... I do, I always think about the competition, but then I always, I always, my competition is me though, but I do know it's other female rappers out there and it's different styles, different brands, but 
when I'm in the studio, I just be me. Like, I don't really know what else to do but be me. Mm. Really. Do you ever get compared to somebody when people hear your music? Like you, They start comparing me to Glorilla. Not really the sound, but really just because we both just hard female rappers. It's the gangster part of it. It's not really. I mean, she pop her, you know, say her little sex. But I mean, when you hear Glorilla and you hear me, it's really just... It's hard. It ain't what you gonna expect from like when you see us. You're not gonna expect it to be no hard. Shit. Like we hard as shit. like that's just what it is. Mm, okay. Yeah, I, I get. That's the same. I was going the same comparison is Glorilla. Do you like that comparison or you don't? I it. Okay. Okay. She, <laughs> Gorilla hard. Yeah. She is hard. Yeah. You don't. Um, she just have a, a crazy accent. Like <laughs> yeah. her accent is crazy. Well, I understand it because. Uh, I had my summers in Memphis because that's where my granny stay. So mm. I've been in Memphis, and that's how I really start rapping, listening to Gangsta Boo, La Chat and stuff. So I really be feeling it. That's why I'm, I be understanding her, really. So I f*** with her. Uh, okay, okay. And that's probably... Did you ever look at Gorilla? Because um, Gorilla probably been out of, what, about a year or two or so? Yeah. Yeah. Do you watch, Do you ever watch Gorilla or even pick up her style or anything like that? Or? Um... I didn't see her interviews. I mean, I listen to her music. I got her music downloaded. I wouldn't say I just pick up her style because I already been rapping how I've been rapping. But with how she flow. But I wouldn't say I just pick up her style, but I be listening to her and stuff. Okay. All right. And as somebody from Fort Worth, right, is there anybody that you can even, like, look to to be like, okay, that's who I want to be that's coming from Fort Worth? Or do you look to, like, Big big major artists. Um, I really look to like big major artists. It oh, ain't okay. really. I mean, it's we got artists in Fort Worth and stuff, but I mean, I don't really look to, as nobody as I want to be. You know, ain't nobody really out there giving me just motivation. Cause I mean, it's hard coming up in Fort Worth. I mean, Enchanted, she didn't came up. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's really hard coming up in Fort Worth. You just gotta put yourself out there. Like so. I just look at like way different, bigger artists from different other states, different places, because that's where all the different flows, different sounds, that's where all this stuff gonna come from. So that's all I do. Yeah. What's another like uh, a artist that people may know that's from Fort Worth? Because I'm not from here, so I'm just trying to think like who else that I that I would know that's from Fort Worth. Um, I know the uh, Murder Game PB. He popping. Okay. Um. In the circle artists, some of those uh like E B Lute, he popping, you know. Just uh I can't really think of nothing off the yeah, top of my yeah. head. I ain't no, it's all good. I'm trying to think, ain't um is Trap Boy from uh he from Dallas or Fort Worth? He from Dallas. Dallas, okay. Um is Trap Boy who else? It was dang, I'm trying to think. Trap boy because I know it was like a three from, from my little knowledge of yeah. rap in Dallas, it was like a three-headed monster. It was Mo, Trap Boy, and then somebody else. Yeah, yo. Oh yeah, yeah, yo. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I forgot. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, no. Nah, okay, yeah, yo. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, when did you? What made you even want to even start getting in the booth? Like, where did that even come from? Does anybody in your family? Like, do they have any musical background or? I mean, people sing and stuff. I mean, I started off singing as a kid. I used to be in, like, different choirs, singing in shows and stuff, but I smoke a lot. So <laughs> my voice, it just kind of went away. So then I started rapping. I found my flow in rapping. Then I just be in school, like middle school, high school. I used to rap for extra credit. I used to rap for, I used to just do this then, but I just started taking it serious, like just recording, doing shows and stuff. Cause I ain't know everybody's gonna be with me like that at first, but everybody with me. Okay, teachers used to let you rap for extra credit. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? Okay, damn, that's dope though. That's dope. Shout out to what high school did you go to? Trimble Tech in Arlington Heights. I graduated from Trimble Tech though. Trimble Tech is that like they they colors like orange and black? Mm mm. Green. <laughs> Green. Okay. All right. Man. Okay. Okay. Do you ever feel? Um, do you feel like pressure from like already as you starting to get more into the industry to do like BBLs and get your body yes. changed? <laughs> do you? People be pre- I don't want. I'm not gonna do it, but people pressure me like because I'm skinny. So like, 
you gonna hear it a lot, like, oh, you know, you should do this, do that, but I'm skinny. I don't, I'm looking like no BBL. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Because I know, like, Texas people eat, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, that's where, that's where, like, that's where most, or at least my understanding where most of the women in Texas get their thickness from is yeah. just, just straight eating, you know what I mean? I mean, I eat every day. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Okay, all right. And what's this uh, What's this tape that you got coming out, man? What is it called? It's called Goaded. It's my new tape. I'm going to drop May 13th. Okay, it's called Goaded? Goaded. Goaded. What does that I'm mean? Go- I'm Goaded. Ah, uh, go- okay. Where did you get the title from? Where did you get the name from? I just see myself as the goat. Like, I don't know. That's as humble as I can get it. <laughs> that ain't humble, goddamn. Like, <laughs> that ain't humble. Just coming out. I know it's other rappers and female rappers coming out my city. Like, I, I f*** other female rappers. I be talking to them. But, like, me personally, I just feel like I'm a GOAT. I'm not, I ain't saying I'm just, oh, I'm the best out there. But I'm I'm a GOAT. I'm one of those. Yeah, that's what I feel like. And I think that that's the mindset. Even though you, other people may say whatever they might say, I think that's the mindset that you need to have. Mm-hmm. Even even try to even get in this game because if you don't have that mindset, you won't make it far. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have to believe in your ability and where you're trying to go. And so I with it, man. I with it 100%. Goaded. How many tracks is on there? About 14. 14. Okay. Wh- which one you say that people need to go out? What's going to be the... The banger mm-hmm. that everybody gonna be bumping. I'm gonna say Woolly. That's Woolly? what everybody already listening to Woolly. Like okay. Tyreek Woolly, the hmm. NFL player. Oh, uh, okay. He from Como too. Really? Yeah. Okay. So there's a song about him? It's not about him, but I mentioned him in the uh, bar. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Tyreek Woolly, who did he play for? Seahawks. Okay, Tyreek. And he from Como. You know him? Yeah, like family. Really? <laughs> for sure. Oh, that's dope, man. That's dope. Okay. Um, does anybody else in your family like do they uh anybody else like rap or anybody else trying to get in the music business? Nah. <laughs> Just you? Yeah. I mean, nah, I got a cousin. He rap, but you know, I'm really the only one that really just pushing my mm, music. Okay. Is there anything that you so far in your short time in this business that you learned like, dang, I didn't know I didn't know this before I started, but now I know this part of it. Um, I mean, really a lot of stuff I learned day by day with this music. Like, it's really a lot I still got to find out. Like, I really can't just think of nothing off the top of my head. It's just I be learning a lot because every day is something new with it. Like, how to do this, how to do that, or how to push my music that way, how to you know, generate money with the music because you got to learn how to do that too. I would say the one thing, the one advice that I would I would tell you is learn how you make money, right? Learn, figure that part out so you can understand when... Because I, I, for me, I, what, I've, what I've seen just from doing a little research on you, mm-hmm. the music stuff... Is the come it comes kind of easy to you, right? Or you got that part down, right? Now if you learn how to to make the money from it, you'll be able to be more in charge of where you want to put your music, when you want to put it out, how you want to put it out, because you understanding, I know how I'm gonna make money from this. You know what I mean? And so make sure you keep good people around you, like Tice, you know what I mean? Yeah. Seem like a, a solid dude. Keep good people around you. And keep getting on his neck. Like, don't let up when it comes to the music. Don't let up on on the music. You know what I mean? Because we need some. Like, um, I think the last, the, the I think the only girl that I know from this area is Erica Banks to come out of this area. That's that's seemed like she into the game. Other than that, I don't know any other females mm-hmm. that that come from this area. And there's a lot of dope female rappers from this area. I don't know whatever happened to them, you know what I mean? <laughs> or what happens to them, you know what I mean? So, and I know you say you got a boyfriend. Don't get pregnant. I'm not. That's okay. what I'm not. That's what. <laughs> I'm avoiding that for sure. Trust yeah. me. I've got, I'm trying to get all my goals out the way first before I even think about kids. That's the last thing on my mind. Yeah. Okay. So, May 13th is the album? Yeah. Okay. Goaded. Um... Okay, that's what's up, man. Is there anything you want to uh, shout out? Anybody you want to shout out? 
to the to your people? Anything you want to say to them? To I want to shout out to my whole team, Direct Connect. I love all them. And then to my CEO, Runner, because he ain't get to make it today. But, yeah, to the team, to Tice, my manager sitting over there. <laughs> okay. All right. And where do you see yourself, man, in, let's say, five years? Where do you see yourself? I see myself, like, way bigger with this music. Like, I see myself up there. Like, I made it. Well, and what's making it to you? What do you— like? The the whole thing, the fame, the bag. I mean, I'm not really just caught up on the fame. It's really the, you know, the bag for me. But, like, I made it, like, you know? Yeah. It. Here's what I would tell you, too. You could take, you could take this music thing wherever you want to go. You know what I mean? You stay focused on it. it like, it, the, the sky is the limit to wherever you want to go. You know what I mean? Just stay focused. I know you be in the streets, I could tell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but just make sure you stay focused to to what you want to accomplish. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. I f with your whole movement. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Okay. And you said what's the the Tyreek, the Willie song? Willing. Willing song? Willin'. Okay, Willing. All right, man. Um, give out your social, man, so we can uh so people can follow you. Oh, G Street T, G Street underscore T. That's my Instagram. G Street underscore T. And all my music is on all platforms. You just got to look up my name. Okay. Is there anybody that you would love to, like, collab with? Um, I want to collab with a few female artists. I would love to collab with Erica Banks. I was already talking to her. We already met. She did a show in Fort Worth and stuff. So that'll come soon. Okay. Erica Banks. What would that song be? Oh, that's oh, that's all be like. Oh, that's a because I think I think you're a little more more hard than Erica. You know what I mean? Your lyrics is more like rougher than Erica's. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Erica's more like shake that and you know what I'm saying. Yours like I'll f you up. <laughs> hey, it'll sound good on the song. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. And you, your boyfriend. Um. Fuck, no, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never, never mind. I ain't gonna fuck it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, yo, man. Thank y'all for tapping in with us, man. This has been the Tap In Podcast. Thank y'all for tapping in. This has been G Street T. Make sure y'all go pick the album up May thirteenth. Goaded on all platforms. Holla. <laughs>